There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then Yay. let's go ahead and start recording audio in three, two, one, go. No. Hey. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I gotta plug in my I forgot to plug in my headset. Okay. She's gotta plug in her headset. I'm sorry that I just sang that. I oh no okay this, this is getting there very this okay. is about recording though to be fair yes <laughs> we're very professional <laughs> so professional so professional uh well hello welcome to a fictional pop hangover dna <laughs> yes know. yes do you like that it's a really good mashup <laughs> thank you thank you i just thought Much of that is the right now. word <laughs> um welcome to part four of our shadow and bone discussion and you might have heard we have some special guests today we which do we're very very excited about uh you may have heard their voices before if you listen to a little pod called fictional hangover <laughs> we have Amanda and Claire with us. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you guys doing? What's going on? Well, you know. <laughs> Living that pod life. <laughs> yeah. Totes. This is podcast number two of three that we're recording today. Excellent. Wow. That makes Busy it sound day. so prolific, doesn't it? If you guys are, I'm honestly yeah. amazed that you read a book every single week and record a podcast about it. Yeah. It's like, that's amazing. We're pretty um, excited. Right. I read two books this week that we aren't talking about on the podcast. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> pretty fantastic. And, and that's before the amazing cosplays that you do so yes. often and all of that. Like, oh, they're so good. Your content is amazing. I'm just sad that I haven't gotten to do much book character cosplay lately, but you know, I've moved states. I have a full-time job again. Like I'm a real yeah. librarian again. Ooh. So Ooh. it takes up a lot of my time, but I did yes. just get to be the other mother and I was super <gasps> pleased with it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Um, yeah. So just for listeners who don't know, I can't imagine why they wouldn't, but <laughs> do you want to just give us like uh, a quick rundown on what your podcast is about and where we can listen to it? Yeah, of course. Fictional Hangover is a podcast about young adult and new adult books, series, authors, and voice actors that is full of spoilers. Literally just made. <laughs> made of spoilers spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> all the Everywhere. spoilers and then so we brim with spoilers. all the time yeah love it <laughs> we've we've been told previously that people have used our podcast to cheat on homework so oh <laughs> that's one of the well, greatest compliments arrived. a person could get, ever be given <laughs> absolutely yeah. yeah totally so you can i find did us. admit oh, oh go ahead <laughs> oh i was gonna say you can find us everywhere you listen to podcasts um and on all social media at fictional hangover, except for on Twitter, it's at fictional hangover, no ER, because because Twitter. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. You, yeah. you can find us everywhere. I did I did once admit to Claire that sometimes I don't read the book before I listen to the episode. And I'll like, I'll listen to your episode and then decide if I want to read the book. That's that's how I do it sometimes. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we, we don't ruin it for you. No, a bookseller oh, no, has admitted as well to me that they <laughs> listen to the episodes so they can then recommend books or not recommend books to people because they don't have the time to read sure. all of those books. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was, that's very nice. That's very nice. That's really the whole reason why I started Fictional Hangover. Oh my gosh. <laughs> which is now like more than three full years ago. We've been doing this podcast. Um. It's because, you know, I'm a teen librarian always on the inside and I wanted librarians and parents and teachers to be able to pretend that they've read the books they're pushing on their <laughs> teen readers. Yeah. Yeah. Also, great. I just always only read YA, so. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that helps. So we have invited you here today because... Of course, you are 
the YA experts and we have some YA books to talk about. Uh, yeah, so just like off the, you know, right off the bat, like if you could sum up your feelings about the Shadow and Bone trilogy in one word, what would it be? Frustrated. <laughs> oh, fair, fair. One word. That's tough. I have like a, I don't, I don't have a one word. I have a one phrase. Okay. Sad orphan becomes powerful. <laughs> that is that is what frustrating happens. yeah which is frustrating yeah. <laughs> yeah okay yeah totally <laughs> but you know there's some really good powers in this book too so it's fine but why is it always got to be the sad orphan girl who gets everything yeah i mean come on yeah i hear you yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean to be fair though there was a lot of moments there was a lot of good moments yeah but I I I admit I listened to the audiobooks, um, which I don't know in America if they're <laughs> commonly right. available. No, oh. available. Aaron listened to the audiobooks too. <laughs> Did you hear a lot of Sagda Alina? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, Sagda just... Alina. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, they weren't the best. But you're all right. It's certainly not the worst I've ever heard. Right. You know, have heard um, some really bad audiobooks. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> the, yeah, frustrated is probably the most apt because of content, characters, just basically everything about it. And I will admit, I haven't seen the TV show yet because I just haven't had time with yeah. university and work. Um, but now I'm starting to be able to catch up on books that are not featured on Fictional Hangover, um, and I'm starting to watch TV programs. Yay, TV! Yay. <laughs> um, because I've finished the course, I'm literally I have time. This mystical thing called time. So Ooh. I haven't watched the TV show yet, but I am going to. But yeah, I cer- it certainly made me get have some thoughts and feelings going into it, and I'm hoping that it's going to be reflected by Netflix. Yeah. 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 I will say, so I don't know if this is what was frustrating about it for you, but what was frustrating for me was that everything is from Alina's point of view. So we're getting very limited, um, very limited information and perspective. Um, but in the show, that's not the case because we get to get out of Alina's head and see a lot more uh, you know of what's going on in the world outside of where Alina is so I, I at least I hope that when you do watch the show yeah. you'll you'll like it a lot better <laughs> yeah so you guys have watched the show both both of pop DNA has watched the show <laughs> both halves of pop okay. DNA <laughs> okay but, um, now can you answer a question for me is it is it shadow and bone and six of crows and king of scars no so the first season of the show just covers shadow and bone the crows are in it but it's not the story of six of crows okay it's like what happened before six of crows okay so they're kind of like interwoven with the story and then of course like the flashbacks to nina and matthias and six of crows are like that's that's like the time that they happened so that part is in there too yeah oh, okay okay I, I was warned that six of crows is pretty useful to read before watching the show if you want to like fully understand it or do a proper comparison i did look at yeah. the characters just to find out who ben barnes was because i was convinced he was the darkling but then the name is wrong and i was like oh i think his character has his character has like three names in the show i think yeah but yes he is the darkling but aaron had a better casting idea for the darkling why is it not timothy chalamet he's whiny he's you know he's 
he's everything that the darkling needs to be he's a whiny little like meh I don't he's know, I, he's not 40 years old <laughs> there's that <laughs> that too because when you start in june you don't need to do netflix that's that, my you know answer. that's, that's <laughs> point. yeah that's true yeah okay so uh, yes yeah, so we we all found the this trilogy frustrating to varying degrees um but what did we find that was like good about it like what what elements could possibly have redeemed it Nikolai Nikolai. My favorite. Nikolai is the one and only redeeming feature for this trilogy for me. <laughs> specifically, specifically when he transforms into the, the creature. I was like, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes oh yeah Look, the whole thing would have been 1000 percent better for me if alina just joined up with the darkling in the very beginning just just yep. become bad and be terrible the whole time that's for me that is what yeah. i need yeah yeah okay yeah okay i like it i'm sure you can find some fanfic for that <laughs> probably i don't so. want it as fanfic though i need it as canon okay it needs, needs okay. to be real yep Stop it needs whining. to be real. Stop being the moody <laughs> orphan. Boo hoo. There's a lot of orphans in this world. I, I, this I realize I sound very unsympathetic, but still, you know, they don't have superpowers. That means they can be granted sainthood and be a general of an army and then rule a country and get the hotties. No, you know, they've got a, they've got a lot harder lives, love. So, firstly, stop whining. <laughs> Secondly, when the hottie, black, um, uh, guy dressed in all black turns around and says join me but you can only wear all black you turn around and go yes that's an aesthetic i can live with <laughs> i can you know and then rule by her side until you can take over oh yeah okay right then take over okay. and do everything that you actually wanted to do but you also get the hot evil guy for mm-hmm. a little while too it's okay it's, it's fictional <laughs> hangover law if you're a lovable <laughs> asshole or just an asshole, you know, if you're the villain of the piece, yeah, we're gonna like you. Yeah, you're you're the winner. <laughs> I no, yeah. I'm totally on board with that. I love a yeah. hot villain. Uh yeah. yeah. I would have been completely fine if that was the way the story went, quite honestly. Yeah. Um <laughs> My change would be to make Jenya the point of view character. Mm, yeah. Okay. Hear yeah. her whole yeah. story. Yeah. Yes. Or Bagra. Or Bagra's whole life. Those are my two. Bagra. Yes. Love her. Just, just not Alina. Alina. Yes. I She's also not- found I found her when we talked a little bit about this in other episodes, but like I found her a little bit frustrating. Just as a point of view character, like she didn't do it for me. Um yeah yeah and I think like what we also yeah so we did talk about that kind of quite a bit um (laughs) and I think like yes like she is frustrating she is um she is not an ideal PO you know narrator um and I think like we talked about like it's you know it's appropriate for her to have these characteristics because you know she's 16 and yeah she's an orphan and she's been through a lot so like that's fine for her character but just as the narrator it's it's tough yeah so yeah I think yeah either a different a different POV character or just or just go third person don't have don't have a first person narrative if because like (laughs) king of scars you get a new point of view character every chapter and I already enjoyed it so much more um, just because of that, just because you got to switch. You got to hear from Zoya. You got to hear from Nikolai. You got to hear from all of those people. And I think it just made it a more well-rounded story because I wanted to know so much more about the world. You know, it was helpful. Yeah. I think that's, that's when, when you're stuck with the same voice for over three books, it's 
too much and even when I've you know we've covered series on the podcast before where there's there've been 12 books in the series they've got to book six but they've started to introduce other point of views of the characters it's refreshed the series and it's made it more tolerable and easier to get into and you have a little bit more sympathy for the lead character because I just didn't care for her because I was listening to her inner voice as well be right. whiny and complaining all the time and it's like maybe if I saw her from the outside in mm-hmm. I would appreciate her a little bit more as you know and the problems that she's got to face and you know it, it's it's difficult she's got a lot of stuff to deal with mm-hmm. um, so I will give her some sympathy but I just it was too much it was too drowning I don't know perhaps if it's because the like you know we were saying about the audio book and that's how I consumed it and um, whether or not the narrator didn't quite catch it the, the proper tone and inflections enough for me I didn't think she was bad I didn't think she was like I said I've heard a lot worse but maybe that had some influence over it um perhaps because I listened to all three pretty much one after the other I had small breaks in between and would listen to podcasts because podcasts are mint in between <laughs> listening to the audio book to give myself that break um but I did listen to them fairly quickly I listened to one of them in a single day started as soon as I got on the bus going to work for on the train in the office all day in the office and then I finished it on the train going home so wow. I did it all, all in one day um that's what a long commute does gives you time um, <laughs> so I don't know if that might have in, in, impaired my enjoyment a little bit um maybe these were I mean I've, I've for example um the night circus I absolutely adore that book but I could not listen to the audio book because Jim Dale is too relaxing and he's <laughs> lulling me into this lovely sense of just well-being that I couldn't remember anything and I'm, I listened to at least 75% of the audio book I had to read the book physically to actually understand the story because he was too he was too good at his job um, <laughs> yeah. of, of, of relaxing me um, and I blame Amanda for Jim Dale because she listens to the Jim Dale Harry Potters and says how good he is and I had yes. his audio book narration I have Stephen Fry as the Harry Potter narrator in the UK so um, um. I finally got a chance and I was like I can't do it he's too good he's too nice he's too relaxing but I think <laughs> with this one it's just I don't know if the voice captured the I don't think the voice captured Elaine enough to give me enough sympathy for the character very Jim long Dale. story summarized there <laughs> Jim Dale is just a gift that man oh my gosh can he narrate an audiobook I love him so much he, he needs to be on this app that, you know, me and Amanda keep mentioning with, with other narrators who were just so good. We're going to, we need to pattern this really. We and really just do. And you off into sleep and just say <gasps> random stuff to you. It's just, oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. Just some, I like, love that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like yeah. the Calm app where the, they'll like read you stories to fall asleep? Oh, I don't like want full that. stories. I just want random oh. phrases. Really. Just random <laughs> phrases. <laughs> Look, really, all we want in this app is Steve West just talking to us. Just, just Steve We're West not allowed to talk about that anymore. We go into a weird social media exchange with him. And yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry that I'm obsessed with Steve West. I don't can't apologize. help it. His voice is made of dreams. It really is. <laughs> oh. Okay. Kind of reminds me of Richard Armitage's voice. Okay. 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 That, that, that's the closest I can get. Sure, sure. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, I've left. We've lost I'm Amanda. Just, She's gone. In. She's listening to That's right. Steve West. <laughs> <laughs> She's found her happy place. Yeah. She looks so sweet. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. What, what were we? That, what is, were we that talking is not about? what we're talking about. What, is, today. what are we talking about? No, no. <laughs> you know, if Steve West had narrated these books, I would have been more into them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. <laughs> can, also, can I say his point of view? I don't want and never want, and I want yes. him to die a horrible, painful death. Please wow. tell. If I, oh yeah I almost said really inappropriate words. That is what I was going to say just a second ago. Claire was that. <laughs> that if Mal hadn't been in it, I probably would have enjoyed it more because that guy, I hate his guts out. He's the worst. Yeah. And then, I could... ugh, like, then him being, can we, can we spoil things? Yeah. 
Go him for being it. the third amplifier, like what the right. heck? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. When that happened, I was on a bus listening to the audiobook, and I think I audibly said, "What?" <laughs> People looked it was at the me same, like, "Except it wasn't walked. It was no." <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, I'll say uh, one of the many things that is improved by the show is Mal. Like, no, it is. I, yeah. The show made him made him likable. I don't know how, but they did. <laughs> Little miracles, yeah. honestly. It is. Writers could do. Did they kill him what? immediately and make him the first amplifier? <laughs> He's the first one instead of the third one. Okay. Yes. He's yep. dead. It's they they pulled it. They pulled a change. They were like, okay, we're gonna change the story. Um, and Look. Alina is gonna go evil at the beginning. Yes. I think that's fine. Oh. And she's wearing Mal's rib cage around. Oh my her god. Neck. Yes. It would have been perfect. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We've just turned this into a completely different genre, and that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Great. I think it's perfect. Yeah, I love it. The, the, the PG rating. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to say for children. Give me some dark <laughs> fantasy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying a lot of things that I didn't like, but there were characters I did like. I did quite like the Darkling. Mostly, he could have used a bit of changing. Jenya, yes. David, yes. Nikolai, David. Yes. (laughs) Oh, honestly, and he's like, he's so clueless. He's so nerdy, clueless. And he's so so good to Jenya after all she goes through. Like, their relationship is so, like, nurturing. It's so good. Yeah. They're my favorite relationship of the series. Unless it's my, unless it's my fictionalized one where it's Alina and the Darkling. (laughs) All all the time. (laughs) David and want, are really you kind of want this makeover to happen with Alina, don't you, where she goes completely emo, like the eyeliner just goes to the nth degree, and the hair gets dyed black and slicked back as well, and she's like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to walk out with black, black feathers everywhere. And just, yeah. yeah, now now she just sounds like, um, oh my god, she's never night. She's Mia Corvary now. Let's it's just time. replace Alina. Let that's it. That's what we're doing. We're replacing <laughs> Alina with Mia Corvere. And then she can go off killing everyone. And she's already got those powers of darkness. Hmm. So it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Just See, no problems. <laughs> make that swap. It's the mashup. Once of again, Overnight. Netflix, get out the fictional handover. <laughs> we're doing our job for you, your job for you. And we're rates really reasonable. Or you can have a show like Wife Swap, except it's character swap, and you yes. swap a character yes. so a week. <laughs> yes. Like we put like Katniss Everdeen into Shadow and Bone. That would yeah. be yeah. Intriguing. I think it sounds like a really good idea. Yes, yeah, I really love it. Like, can we? It's like celebrity death match we used to watch on MTV, yeah. except you know, it's fictional, it's fictional character death match. <laughs> <laughs> but can they still be made out of clay? Because yes. I yes. That. <laughs> yes, that yes. is essential. <laughs> if it's not of stop course. motion animation, I'm not into it. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> stop motion animation clay rib cage around your neck is what you need. This I feel like I need to make I can one. Read it. I think we might have found I feel like you need to do <laughs> yeah, I was do gonna a, say, do can cosplay. I cosplay for this episode? Like alternate yes. universe Alina <laughs> with Mal's rib cage around. <laughs> she actually has a tag as well, like so you know it's Mal's rib cage because she's yeah. very proud of it. Because you need to know just left yeah, the tag on. Know. Yeah. This the, I didn't get this puppy on sale. This is this is you know Kushner. <laughs> full, full price rib cage amanda you have to do this now you have to <laughs> look i'm on it i'm getting out my air dry clay yes. i'm making a rib cage perfect <laughs> i bet you could even get like a skeleton like from the halloween store and just like oh yeah alter oh, it i don't know that would be easier and i do really want a life-size skeleton you yeah. know a plastic Who one, not, not a real one 
Scully Joe's not big enough for me, Claire. Oh. <laughs> if it was if it was a wrist, if it was one of the wrist amplifiers, then sure. Mm. But we're going we're going the collar here. Okay. Need double rib cage. Love it. I, I love that you just have that. That's amazing. I also have a missed to jitters. That's uh, amazing. <laughs> this is what happens when your office slash library is out of commission. You just have all of your stuff lying around. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, totally. <laughs> I'll not tell you what other stuff I've got over there. I've got my Halloween costume close by. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so should, do we need to talk about this book more, or can we just do we, keep, do we, can we just keep making book? up our own thing? We can make up our own. Yes, let's let's write the pilot episode right now. <laughs> um, For those of us who like, listen to Fictional Hangover, yes, we get easily distracted. We really, really do. do. We do too. So this is too. maybe not. This wasn't the best idea, maybe, to have us together. But that's no. fine. <laughs> so, terrible oh, idea. oh, Rhonda, I would counteract that and say this is the best idea. I yeah. yes, good We've point. Mashed good our fictional point. DNA together. <laughs> We've done like a twenty-minute intro of an episode that was just so off-topic and like didn't even have like an on-road to the topic. No, nope. and then we were like, oh yeah. <laughs> No, nope. and, and I was like, I can say this in editing, but I didn't. I didn't edit no. anything. Out. I'm just like, no, just leaving it. <laughs> at least your listeners know what we're talking about. Um, yeah, most get of the, the time, time we, we get lost on something that has nothing to do with anything. I left that in one of our more recent episodes, Claire. Just so you know, you being angry <laughs> at your tit because that happened. <laughs> I left that in, but I, that was I at edited the very, it. That I was at the very beginning, but you didn't know. And then at the very, very end, I said, you better not put that much. I did. I did. I left <laughs> it in and I moved some stuff to the beginning. So it made a little bit more sense. You are insane I mean, with it. the power of editing. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. It's to be expected. I mean, relatable. So that's... <laughs> Speaking of which, if you were a Grisha, <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible segue. It's terrible. <laughs> well, maybe you know, like if you could, like, so, like, which Grisha order, or if you could make up your own Grisha Ooh. order um, involving involving tits, if you wanted, but like, if you all <laughs> tits, all <old> time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to make it like connect. But anyway. It was a valued effort. To Thank you. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. Well, That's a really I'll, good question. Yeah, that's a, I'll, that's a good I'll, question. I'll go first if you want to think about it. Um, I would want to be divergent and have <laughs> all of the powers. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Look, um, all doesn't doesn't uh, Moritzova doesn't he say, "Are we not all things?" So we're mm-hmm. all things. Let's just be all things. I'm joining you. Yeah. I'm gonna be divergent yeah. as well. Let's do it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but look, I added in a book quote. So you it's, did. So it's real. So, so it's real. You made it. You made it relevant. <laughs> look at you. Perfect. <laughs> This is how she's a librarian. Oh, <laughs> oh, indeed. Oh no, I got to move my hair again. That's my Cards Against Humanity shirt. <laughs> it's fine. Take it fine. back. I never said it. No, it's fine. <laughs> Do you? Did you think of one? I don't want to be. I'm joining you guys. I don't want to be okay. boring and just yeah, like just one one note, one tone, boring, boring, boring. Let's have some diversity in here. Yeah. 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 I kind of I kind of just want to be David, whatever David's <laughs> job, like the the tinkers or whatever, because he spent a lot of time in his introvert cave and that's the only place I ever want to be is like I want to yeah. make things and help people but I also want to be left alone and yeah so I'm, I would just want to be David valid I love I it 
They yeah, didn't get to awesome. be with Jenya. Hell there yeah. Go, right? <laughs> That's fine Genya. with me too. That was my route. Thank you for picking up on that. That's my roundabout way of saying I would just be dating Jenya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Cut yeah, prints, I don't think there's anything good. wrong with that. I don't think <laughs> oh, there's yeah, anything wrong with that. Yeah. Jenya, yeah. I think the first time I read the books, I read them so fast that I didn't like notice a lot of the side characters very much. But then on the reread, I was like, oh my gosh, Jenya is so cool. Like, yeah. Yeah, she's great. See, I think it was the side characters that stood out for me. Like, mm. They were the ones who leaped out the page and were the ones I was more interested in and concerned about their well being. Like, you know, joining the Darkling side and then betraying him. It's like, oh, what's going to happen? Yeah. And, you know, yeah. okay. I mean, bad things, but he's still alive. <laughs> You've got David, and it's just so adorable. It is. It really <laughs> is. I also like that she's a poisoner. She's yes. poisoning people all over the place. I'm into that. Yeah. yeah. That part when she said, oh, it, the poison's been on my lips all along. Like that was chef's kiss. Like that, oh, oh I, lo- I, was, I was all <laughs> yeah. about that. Oh, so good. She has that lovable asshole quality that as I was listening to it, I was like, this is a man. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it was getting to the poison bit, I was like, "This is Amanda." <laughs> You're right. Honestly, if I don't know why I'm even acting shocked. George You're right. shocked. It's you is 100 percent you. It was like, yeah, if there's going to be any yeah. one person, you are going to be this bad bitch right here. Totally. Yeah. I mean, except that, that and that's completely the... complimentary, by the way. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. of course. Oh yes. Except that in the quiz, aren't you the darkling? <laughs> yeah, which that's fine too. I'm also okay. Like any option that I have of being a bad person. Of being I'm, evil. I'm yeah. Yes. I'm Definitely. always a villain. Always a villain. <laughs> Can't help it. Love that. I don't Wait, have a you soul. Were, you were both the darkling. Is that? I got the darkling you both as well. Know? Oh my you gosh. You see, there was... One of the questions was pick months and one of them was like November, August. I was like, well, of course I'm going to pick that because my birthday is November. Amanda's birthday is, sorry, my birthday is August. No, Amanda's is November. And one of them was like, <laughs> so what, what, what's the response? And all I saw was the word sarcasm. I was like, yes. Yeah, yes. Us, we're, <laughs> we're made of sarcasm. I often yeah. tell people that I am made of sarcasm and ridiculousness. And yeah. sorry. I'm made of dad jokes and Jane Austen. So yeah, <laughs> it all works out. <laughs> and I'm just secretly a Muppet. And that's what it that's is. That's true. And that's that where we true. are. Can confirm. You know what you just feel like you found your people? Claire, <laughs> <laughs> right yes. what are you? Everyone else has declared what they are. What are you? Other than exceptionally British. Oh, I've stolen that. <laughs> That's a cup of tea. I only have one today. Um, where am I? Uh, bitter, <laughs> ordinary, tired. Yeah, <laughs> Love that. I relate to that <laughs> so much. Oh my god, the much like the darkling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a sociable antisocial person I, I think that's yeah. why I described myself last week in an event I was like yeah uh, I'm here I'm talking I'm, I'm sound and chatting I sound like I'm really really engaged and everything but I just <laughs> want to be at home in my fat pants drinking a cup of tea and watching Disney movies right now totally. <laughs> and now I have to echo that I feel like I found my people that's how I feel all the time <laughs> oh my gosh people think I'm bubbly I'm not <laughs> no yeah I I just but point you out are... you work customer service for 15 years yeah. you become a bitter and twisted person yes yeah but you're very good at pretending not to be that's yep. good yeah we call it the bullshit smile totally yep. <laughs> yep that's teaching as well that's how you get as a teacher yep. <laughs> you're like yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah you Wait, are Aaron... doing really well well done great Aaron which character <laughs> were you I was Nikolai. On- Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's wonderful. That fits. I was Nikolai. I was saying right before we got on, I was saying I only want to be him as the shadow creature. Yes, That's- please. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good. I was Zoya, which I don't see that at all, <laughs> but I love her. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I what I answered incorrectly on this quiz. That <laughs> gave me Zoya. It's terrible when you think about these quizzes and you go, how did I answer this wrong to get in that person? Yeah. <laughs> right. I remember I way back. Be a... Galena. I remember way back a long time ago on Fictional Hangover before Claire's time and we covered Six of Crows um, and Crooked Kingdom and there was a quiz and both me and the co-host at that time, we both got Kaz and we were like, how? How is this possible? <laughs> Neither one of us are Kaz Brecker. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> but I just think, I think the quizzes are broken sometimes. Yeah. Well, you know, BuzzFeed, they, they're the best at what they do. So you just, <laughs> you just go with it. BuzzFeed see into your soul and pluck out your psyche. Yes. And then they put it on a picture. <laughs> So if BuzzFeed says it, they're not wrong. You just need to change your personality. Yes. That's all. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> right. Is that like or when just... you get your Facebook status and like you, that, that, that is your relationship status? If you're not complicated in real life, but your Facebook says it, you've got to make it so. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to delete my Facebook now. <laughs> I deleted my Facebook and it's the best decision I ever made. Um, so... <laughs> uh yeah so as we wrap up do you do you have like anything more to add or anything else you want to you want people to check out I have a question for our guests yeah so if we've all said that we like there are elements of this story that were interesting but we didn't like this one what does this better what is a trilogy or a series that kind of does this kind of an idea but better in a way that you enjoyed oh oh that's a good question I mean despite the fact that the author shall not be named I really think poor orphan with powers automatically goes to Harry Potter yeah poor sad orphan with Harry or poor poor sad orphan Um, with Harry Potter (laughs) with Harry Potter (laughs) poor sad orphan Uh, with powers is definitely Star Wars Star Wars is also good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Several sad <laughs> orphans with powers there. Yes. In a galaxy far, far away, everybody is an orphan. That's um, true. Uh, there's a lot of orphans in Star Wars. <laughs> it's hard time, hard life. I'm going to say <laughs> the Black Magician trilogy by Trudy Canavan. Okay. If you've never read it, it's amazing. And she is she's the you know, she starts off as an orphan. And turns out that she has absolutely kick-ass magical powers and has to go to the magic school and learn how to use them. Um, and there is a Darkling style character in the vein of um, the actual black magician at the school who's like the head of. Um, and he's not what he seems either. Oh, Nothing fun. Is that sounds it's, cool. It's, it's the only truly kind of man books I can tolerate. <laughs> Okay. I can't I can't get away with her other books, but this Black Magician trilogy, it sucked me in and I could not put it down. I've read it several times now. Um it's the the, the world building is phenomenal. Like the way it starts off small and then there's a massive war. And yeah, mm-hmm. it's and it's um repre- it's got good representation in as well of um different like there's an LGBTQ character and um different races are involved as well so and religions yeah. and stuff so it's really really good and it doesn't just stop with the elite um it literally goes into the gutters and the sewers because they are very yeah. important in the story so honestly yeah. check out the trading the trading kind of black magician trilogy it's phenomenal it's absolutely phenomenal awesome thank you so much yeah Great. and of course your podcast is on all podcast platforms yeah and your social media yeah all we're over. all over the place at fiction awesome. hangover you can find most of our summaries um i'm putting them slowly on our website so you can read our summaries in addition okay. to listening to them awesome it's fictionalhangover.com everything's fictional hangover you can also buy our merchandise fictional hangover no <laughs> er dot redbubble.com okay and buy our merchandise there and you should it's not all fictional hangover like logos uh-huh 
There's a bunch of terrible stuff on there too. <laughs> okay. Merch. You might you might have heard um, Claire mention the term "lovable asshole" several uh-huh. times. There, you can buy your very own lovable asshole oh. T-shirt. Okay. I have one, and I should have worn it today, but I'm wearing my cardigan against humanity shirt. Ooh, cardigan, <laughs> cardigan against humanity. cardigan. <laughs> cardigan. It's the librarian. It's the librarian against coming humanity. I love it. Yes. <laughs> that's the li- that should be the librarian version of that game. Really oh, should. I love that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, we are gonna go ahead and sign off uh, for Pop DNA listeners. We are talking about Knives Out next month, so join us. I think that's Um, our first mystery, isn't it? I think so. Who done it? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. fun. So Uh, good. It is so good. (laughs) It is really good. Um, And thank you so much, Claire and Amanda, for joining us. This was thank you. So lovely. Uh, And you have another podcast to record today, so at least three or four more. Okay. Oh, okay. Well (laughs) then. Well, have fun with that and yeah we will see everybody later thank yeah. you so much um, bye Yay. thanks for having thank us thank you bye 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 <laughs>